welcome back to a new vlog. Today we are going to head over to Home Bargains and maybe a couple of shops similar to that. Juicens or a, oh, what do you call them? Travis Perkins because we are going to try and get the stone, stones or the pebbles to create the fire pit area for the back garden because Rob went and completed the last of the tiles on the outside, bless him, yesterday. He's out there for probably about five hours and he's finished it. So now it's up to me because he's done all the heavy lifting and all of that stuff. It's up to me to go and get the pebbles, build all the furniture, put them on the outside, build the raised beds and border it all up so that it looks really neat and tidy and basically do all the weeding around. So that's gonna be my next task for the next week or so but I do have a bit of a busy week probably should have started this a little bit earlier to be honest but we're gonna head to the shops now see what I can find if I can buy some bags then just use the bags just to fill the space because when I did some research it turns out I thought I was gonna spend about 100 pounds on the gravel from somewhere online but it turns out bulk bags can be within like the hundreds of pounds so we're really not trying to spend that much money on this project if you've been confused as to why we've done it this way by the way watching the previous videos like not using hardcore or not using cement or anything is because this is a very temporary solution i.e. for this year possibly next whilst we figure out the inside of the house and we kind of ch channel our money into the products on the inside of the house and just make the outside a little bit more outdoor livable for socializing for us to go and sit outside in the sun get some vitamin D. Very, very temporary solutions, hence why we've just used sand to lay the slabs, hence why I'm trying to keep everything on a budget. We got the patio slabs from Facebook Marketplace for free. I'm trying to keep everything low budget as possible. So we're gonna head to the shops now, figure all of that out, and then we've got a bit of a task on our hands this week for trying to make it a little bit more pretty. But I think it can be done. I'm, I'm, I am really excited about it. So this is the section, the Garden World. If you haven't been to B&M before, sorry, Home Bargains, haven't been to Home Bargains Garden World before, if yours doesn't have one I would highly suggest trying to source one around you they are absolutely fantastic in case you are wondering this is where I got my fabric before my weed control so it actually says it's landscape fabric so it goes underneath all the pebbles and stuff and we ended up picking up the heavy so they've got garden heavy duty and tough and I did want the tough because it's meant to be like the hardest one to go under patio and stuff but they had run out of it at the time and um, so we just picked up the heavy duty and it was good enough to be fair it's 5.99 the other one is $7.99 although it does say $9.99 there I'm not sure why but yeah I would actually recommend this is pretty good but this is what we're here for so yes this is kind of what I had in mind initially the plum slate stuff and it's $3.50 a bag which isn't too bad because we built our in our garden a couple years ago and I think I paid around £3 at the time for the Travis Perkins stuff and it was the same size could potentially buy maybe like 10 15 bags of this I might need maybe a few more but I could start off buying like 10 15 although I don't particularly love that purple colour. Oh look, they've got a blue version, a blue slate, although these look quite a lot bigger. Oh, and they have the Cotswold. Oh my God, they've got the Cotswold and it's a really good price actually. So that the Cotswold stone is also 350. The reason I like this is because obviously it's a very neutral colour. Um, online, they were selling bulk bags of these from different companies, but the bulk of the Cotswold on one of the websites was like 300 quid. And I don't think that we need a bulk. We wouldn't need that much, but, and then just in case you're wondering, they have the golden gravel, they've got quartite, quartite? quartzite pea and then black chippings they also have this cheshire pink tweed pebbles arctic white which is really small and then the cobble uh, scottish cobbles which are much bigger actually i like these probably not good for a seating area but they are nice done it they're way heavier than you think how much do they weigh i feel like 10 bags should be around enough at least to then give me an inkling as to how it all look how it's looking and how many more bags that i might need and this is 35 pounds a steal because i genuinely thought we would be spending about 100 quid i knew that they'd have something like this but they show all of the different gravels so that was like the thickest one they've got the black chippings cheshire pink arctic white cotswold stone blue slate and the plum slate so can you see what i mean about the plum i used to have this in my beds and borders in our old house and it's great for those but i didn't love the purpley color that blue slate's way too big this is what we've gone with um minus this i think that's from there but this sort of 
beigey tone i think that's quite nice they do feel a little bit janky but they're not super super sharp this is the arctic white which probably is really nice to stand on but it was six pounds and i feel like it will show gaps and bumps and stuff a little bit a little bit too much it's good that they've got this so you can go and have a look anyway when you go and come into store they do these border rolls which are 9.99 for nearly two meters if i were going to put one um between the grass and the pebbles because i think we will need some sort of border i'll probably end up buying a couple of these however i don't know if i love how they look i'm going to do some research and see how easy they are or something like that even but i don't want something that you have to step over but it is good to know that they're there the most wholesome thing has just happened oh do you know what it's weird i saw a tiktok the other day this girl said um in life you've got to give people the time of day and i really do try to anyway but sometimes i can be a bit pessimistic in thinking hmm what do they want from me oh, i can't see them anymore i've loaded up all of the gravel i've headed to the till an angel guy is behind me in the queue right and um and he goes have oh, you got your bike then have you and i was like I caught onto that one because someone has said that something similar like that to me before but at first I was like I've got my bike no I don't have a bike <laughs> but I caught onto that one quite quickly to be fair he's laughing I'm laughing I'm like no I've got the the fiance's car though he's not going to be happy that I'm loading his car up with bags of gravel and he goes oh then anyway pay for it all as I'm walking off I go see you later to the guy now the trolley's really heavy so I'm I'm just pulling it really slowly through it's hot today anyway I'm like I'm not going to overexert myself I'm just going to pull it gently I get to my car and as I turn around um, I see he's like walking just kind of like behind me and um, lock my car and he goes I've come to give you a hand and I just didn't think I heard him correctly so I went what and he went I've just come over to give you a hand and I was like oh thank you so much you don't have to do that he was like no of course like i'll give you a hand i just thought to myself i'll go and go and help her out and then he's going right put your seats in the back down then and then um i'll i'll lift them off and no and then and we can just load them up and we'll make sure we spread them out because you don't want them all in your boot it was just like you know when you just think oh, like i bet you're the best dad or like granddad or whatever to someone and then at the end so we've loaded it all up i've gone to shut the doors over and he goes i'll take your trolley back then hey and i was like no no don't be silly like you don't have to do that please and he was like no no i'll take it and he literally just like scooted off he goes see you later and i was like oh thank you so much colin like have the best day ever and he was like no worries see you later and then just went about his day like he's just left me he's like not even trying to bother me or anything like what a great great guy i hope he goes and has the best day week month and year ever a beige tone it goes really nicely with that patio it's this gonna go nice and you see the white stone yeah that's been there for longer because it's got a bit of sand covering on it so when it rains it'll all uh, build the same color so it's gonna actually turn out like these patches yeah because see how much sand the there is got, yeah. oh yeah so the sand is quite a dark dark color so we could probably rinse it through just to make it more uniform this patio versus this patio it literally looks like that one's been put in the wash compared to this so um you know why that is though that's because you guys because we jetted jet them right we we'll put them on but yeah we them. but i think they seemed a little bit cleaner to begin with anyway no nah, they weren't oh really nah. well that's good no nah. we're going to create a bit of a border around here the only thing is us our grass is so so bad at the minute guys yeah grass is <laughs> struggling in it it's struggles feel like the birds went to town absolutely went to town on this time next year this the grass is going to be great but not not quite yet what do you think about the decorative edge 
yeah really nice i think when i've got a bit of a um a raised bed here that's going to look gorgeous and it's going to really frame the outer edge of this patio get all of those weeds taken down and that's that so we're getting there it's been a lot of hard work but we are getting there today is building the patio furniture day i'm really hoping that i put all of the yeah it looks like i've secured all of the screws and stuff that come with them with sellotape to the bits that need it i highly recommend getting one of these mini screwdrivers now this one is from works i've had it now for probably four years and it is still going i've probably charged it less than 10 times like it is phenomenal it just charges with one of those micro is it a micro usb so strong and it actually comes with a multitude of bits if you've been here a while you, you will know this inside out because i go on about this all the time but it's got so many different bits it's got two different types of allen key two of the most standard sizes then a flathead a drill this one here is a a drill so you can pilot hole stuff really easily and then two cross heads and it's fantastic and then there is actually another another one of it which is in my main tool bag but there's, there's more bits on the other one and also it comes with this so if you are having to hang something either heavy or awkward on your own and you can't hold this hold the thing and hold the screw in place and try and drill it what this does is you can put the screw the head of this of the screw inside there cross head screw push this back pop the screw on top so it sits in place look at that so now i can one-handed zoop zoop amazing just honestly so innovative Here is how we're looking. We have got some pieces built. I just need to put final touches on them. And something that has become real blatantly obvious is the fact that we definitely need to jet wash those slabs. I hope that they turn out this color. I have a feeling these ones might be a bit more beige and these are gray toned. However, I am thinking that we could potentially paint them in the future, but that is not gonna happen anytime soon. I can't take myself seriously. <sighs> right, listen this has to be done my hair has only just been done i'm doing weeding in the garden for the full day i don't want my hair burnt to a crisp from the sun well to be fair it's actually overcast today but i just want my hair to remain clean so i'm having to channel justin timberlake circa 2001 it's given nsync it's given deep south mechanic yeah i can fix your bike that was really bad, sorry, that's actually insulting. My mum and dad, they're coming to help me with the garden today because there is so many weeds, I cannot do it physically all myself. I really, really can't. Mum, I think has a really good eye for stuff like this, so she, I'm sure she's gonna help me make it really look pretty ahead of the day tomorrow. So today is basically clear weeds, make it look pretty ahead of tomorrow day. And that's the only agenda, full stop. So I hope we can do it. I'm sure we can. I would give anything to make the grass look better than it is, but it is what it is. we've managed to get rid of mum do you do you know what that tree is called it's the butterfly style tree we've managed to clear that huge tree dad's still got 
the main trunk of it left but we filled this entire juicing bag Budlier. with it bulk bag Budlier. yeah that's it Budlia. Budlia tree i know it's good for the bumblebees and the butterflies but it was just too overgrown and it was shading over this corner of the garden so we just wanted to bring it back now we're going to take this to the tip try and fit it in mum's mini and grab some food on the way home and then we'll have a new clean bulk bag to put all of the weeds that mum's doing under there she's done a great job so far look how clean that is we are in the peaceborough recycling center it's very posh this one's indoors and we've got to try and get this huge bulk bag of weeds out into the green green waste bit <laughs> took me and dad about 10 minutes to get that in there <laughs> end of the day check in oh my god my hair is hilarious it's 4 45 i've got a pilates class in an hour so i'm gonna have to shoot off but i've just spent the last maybe 20 minutes half an hour clearing out the corner where there was loads of ivy oh my god ivy is horrible horrible stuff mum is currently in this corner still trying to scratch it all off but she's got to try and get it off the concrete which is so much worse it binds to it really really hard but on the fences or wood it kind of rips itself off let me show you how different this looks this is insane so here's a before if i have a picture it genuinely feels like a whole new garden standing all the way back here as well it just feels so clean and clear underneath all of this space is this is how much ivy i've pulled off ivy from all across here all this big jumble in here was all just connected and cross wired and i had to cut it all back and start pulling bits and i still need to do a lot more but i'm going to leave it like that for now and i'm going to cut all this ivy down and get it in the bag and that'll be the last tip run along with the bits that mum's got so hopefully we can fit all that in the, in the bag to take to the tip we also have a load of wood which is really decent wood so i'm going to keep it and i can use it as wood for the fire pit at least it looks so much more clear now i really especially like under here dad's done a really good job i know that it's love takes over your mind yeah won't get me this time lost trust in the dime she's seen all the signs i thought you were blind i was blind I remember when you were all in for us I recall when you said you never loved someone like this Telling me lies You had someone else Now you running back Guys, we finally made it Yesterday, Rob and... No, not Rob I'm still d -lally from yesterday Yesterday, my dad and my mum came and helped me And when I say they put in the work never seen two humans move so fast they helped me clean out the entire garden i can't wait to show you it's a little bit of a miserable day today so i'm a little bit upset but i am hosting a barbecue hence why i don't look like death like i usually do and my friends are about to turn up in about half an hour to an hour so i thought i'd quickly come out into the garden vlog it and show you whilst it looks a little bit more pristine and then over time i'm sure you'll see it when it's sunny and it looks really in its prime but i'm really happy with how it turned out this is how we're looking oh Oh guys I'm so happy with it so we still have our oh my flowers we still have our container garden absolutely thriving darling it's loving life 
over in this section of the garden loving all of the pots they all look really really healthy as well i've learned to not water some and water some more often i'm starting to learn how they all work gave away some herbs to mum and dad yesterday but we'll do a we'll do a vegetable update another time because i feel like i do them all the time and it gets a bit boring doesn't it then over this section i've decided to put our lettuces and our lettuces or lettuce and mange toots over in this little section because there was a little bit of sand that's why we took two slabs out and it looked a bit mucky so i'm just hiding that for now till i decide what to do properly we've got the mini greenhouse back in place bistro set from dunelm which i cannot wait i legit cannot wait to come out here in the morning with a cup of tea or a coffee and my laptop and my notebook we've also got the moon chair in the back i think it's called a moon chair i just always call it a moon chair so maybe it's not but i'm assuming it's called a moon chair we've got that in the back it swivels that's from ebay the little fire pit situation rob did finish these off for me just now and he said they were awful to put together and i said well imagine me doing all of that section by myself i don't know why but it does look a little bit lopsided i promise it's not in real life i think it's all the aspects of all the stuff around is making it look really off because of how uneven the grass is but i promise it's not actually off this section here we've got the egg chair we've got a dining table and chairs and then we've got a little l-shaped sofa and mum helped me last night put all of the pretty flowers around i knew that she'd have a really good eye for this so she was telling me where to put things and bringing it all together i'm so so happy and then this is actually the section that gets the most sun for the longest time of the day and is usually really quite hot so we'll get a lot of heat reflecting back off that wall as well and in time i'm sure i'll do something that with that wall whether it's like trellising or shelving or something or other even a kitchen garden i'm not sure but there's lots and lots of opportunity and then i can't wait to show you this bit look at the difference I'm gonna try and throw on a before and after of this section, but look at the difference of this bit here. Literally ecstatic, I don't even know the words, with how happy I am about this entire area. So dad went ham clearing out all of the random trees, random stones, bits of wood, things that just live there and i always looked at it and thought oh god i'm not actually sure that i ever want to really get into the depths of that but dad went and did that all for me bless him he did it so quickly as well please tell me like i really hope that it's coming across on the camera i know it still looks a little bit murky like obviously we've only just started weeding this is going to take a lot of tender loving care over the next few months to make it feel really clean and exactly how i want it but it's giving me my french aesthetic that i wanted look i've got my little bench my lavender my terracotta pots this is exactly exactly what i had in my pinterest inspo and then to the right i've got a little potting station my terracotta pots and all of my smaller plastic pots that will live here now i've got my tools on the side so that they can easily live there and i mean this just looks nice for now but i'm sure it will become practical in the future we do still want to try and attain this bit of land i need to figure out how you go about doing that but even now like how big this looks compared to before the ivy was covering the side of it it was coming into the garden it felt quite claustrophobic because even though i love the trees there was no air apart from if you look directly up it was just trees 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 so now we've cleared that it really opens the space up you guys really really gave me the motivation to keep going and like taking things easy and taking it in our own time which i think has worked out the best because we've gotten the best results that we possibly can obviously i know the grass looks so so worse for wear um we are going to try and give it one more bash this summer but if it doesn't work then we're just going to wait until the autumn time because it's just not feasible with the amount of birds you can hear them as well but the amount of birds around here they just see the seed and they go for it immediately and I'd, it doesn't matter that much i'll just rather get it done this autumn and then next year it'll be lovely and luscious also it's not a this isn't our garden forever this is a very temporary solution so that we can actually come out here and use all of our furniture sit out here utilize the whole space and just enjoy the sun over the summer and have people around and socialize because i'm such a hostess like i love doing that i love having my friends around me i love being able to cater to people so it was really important for me and now that i've got a little bit of a space like this it does make me happy so i'm not bothered about it looking perfect so any sand under there we didn't do it the proper way we just did it our way so i wouldn't necessarily recommend copying what we've done because this is just temporary they won't last a lifetime they'll hopefully last us a year or two or three maybe at a push but yeah 
that's it let me know what you think of the transformation do you think it was worth it in total off the top of my head i'm gonna say that we spent about mm, let me be realistic here we had all the furniture beforehand we got all the slabs from facebook for free but we gave that guy 50 quid the gravel ended up being about 50 the sand was about 140 and then the tool hire was about 150 say so that's what 300 450 450 ish and then there are a couple of terracotta pots and stuff that i bought over time so maybe around the 500 600 mark is what it cost us to do all of this and then not forgetting when we got the trees topped in february that cost us 450 pounds as well so probably a grand to get our garden looking like this and being able to use it this summer let me know what you think do you think it was worth it do you like it are there any suggestions that you ha have i'm always open to hearing them i can't wait to share this with you over the next couple of months and let you know how i'm getting on with it if it holds up if i'm enjoying the space as it is if i wish that i changed the design of it or anything like that so make sure to subscribe turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss any videos from me in the future i so appreciate you sticking along lots of love guys bye